BYU started working on quinoa because they were interested in potential for underutilized, we call them orphan crops, to be able to improve the nutritional status of populations in the developing world. Their goal is to enable quinoa to be grown in arid climates. A lot of soils across the world are becoming deserts and they're becoming highly saline. So crops that used to be able to grow there can no longer grow. Being able to substitute quinoa in place of corn, wheat, and rice, it's such a high protein, very nutritious crop that you can use in a lot of different cultural foods. This is one of our sets of plots where we're testing crosses between quinoa and wild quinoa. We want to combine the heat tolerance of the wild one with the larger seed size of the cultivated parent. And that's what we've achieved in this particular cross. And we have sequenced a lot of different genomes of the different varieties, the local ones grown here, as well as ones found in Europe and in Asia. We're looking at improving, among other things, heat tolerance, salt tolerance, its ability to produce abundantly in very dry conditions. Yeah, it's, it's from Europe. Plants. We've been working with collaborating institutions introducing quinoa in Morocco. The quinoa don't need a lot of the water to grow. It's very resistant, very rich in protein. It's very good for Morocco. The color of seeds is also different. Yeah, this one. A couple summers ago, I went to Morocco with Dr. Jelen in order to look at the quinoa that he's growing there. We've been able to take students with us to Morocco and we sit down with farmers and eat couscous made of our strains of quinoa. In Morocco, you do see a lot of the rural people struggling, especially on years where there's such unpredictable drought. Having a crop like quinoa would enable them to have a stable food source where they aren't worried about year to year whether they're gonna have dinner on the table every day. You often don't hear about the struggles that people are having across the world. And yeah, it's something that we can fix. In a year like this year where we have a pandemic, it raises questions in terms of what happens if the international transport system is affected, disrupting the transportation of that crop across oceans or across national lines, national boundaries. We need to have crops that are more reliably productive that can be grown locally. We're encouraging small farming communities to start growing quinoa. Not only just are you sending out a crop, but you know that it's going to areas where people really need it. Being able to see the people that it influences is really impactful and it really drives you to do more and be a better student, be a better person.